What's up guys, it's Mike from PressureWasherReview.net and today I've got the Powerhouse International Model PHI Platinum, which is the upgraded model to the Force 2000, which was probably my favorite electric pressure washer to date, um, being that it had all the attachments that I wanted and it put out quite a bit of power at 2000 PSI. This one's a step up, it's got 3000 PSI 2.2 gallons per minute and comes with a whole bunch of accessories um, and we'll go over that in this unboxing and I'll give you some of my initial thoughts and a final demo and review of this as we go. Alright so without further ado let's cut this thing open and see what's inside. At the top, we got some instructions. Uh, Dear valued customer, thank you so much for your order. Um, it says, do not let this washer freeze. It should be stored in a location that's temperature will not go below 40 degrees. Um, I talk about pump savers, um, but since this is being an electric one and not gas, just bring it inside if uh, your temperatures are below 40 degrees in your garage. So, um, Also on top here, we've got the wheels and looks like one of the nozzles, actually two of the nozzles here. So um, I'm going to take this box down and kind of just slowly put stuff up on the table as, uh, as I take it out here. All right, also top of the box you got a, a wrench for tightening the hose to the machine. All right. There she is, she's heavy. Um, I like it, a lot of the power to it. And in the bottom here, we've got a bunch of the attachments. So, got your hose gun here. One of your lances, whoops. A little brush here, I'll take that out of its packer, throw it there. Probably one of my favorite accessories. This is the surface cleaner. Um, so we'll have to put that together. Looks like it's got um, little screws in there. It's got some cardboard to protect the bristles here. And then it also has the little spray brush. That there. This is a new upgrade that you don't see on hardly any electric pressure washers. This is an actual uh, metal lance with real tips so that you can use pretty much any um, gas powered accessory, electric power, whatever fits on your standard quick disconnect. Um, you can swap out different nozzles and attachments with that. So that's really cool that they included that now. Next up is this piece. Looks like there's a little power outlet adapter on there. I'm not sure what that is. We'll have to get into instructions, but maybe it attaches somewhere there. But uh, no worries, we'll read the instructions, see where that goes. This is excellent for washing your cars. You fill this up with soap and uh, it dispenses soap as it sprays, so you can kind of uh, Get your car all soapy and let it soak in and let the soap do its work before you wash it down. So, good way to apply soap to things. Another uh, random attachment, I'm not sure where this goes. We'll, again, we'll read the instructions, put it all together. Um, but it looks like it, hold, it holds all your accessories there. So, check that. And uh, that's it for attachments. So. Uh, we'll put it together here and uh, see how it goes. Alright, so I've got the instruction manual here. Um, basically says if you got any issues, you can email them. They give you their email, phone number. Um, check out their videos on YouTube or their website. 
obviously you're watching this you're checking mine out so um, you can always go to our website as well pressurewasherreview.net and ask questions there um, but Nicole is great at uh, Powerhouse International she'll help you out with anything it does have a one-year warranty on it so um, that's good to see we'll go through this we'll kind of set it up and see uh, what we uh, what we can find out here um, for those two pieces I wasn't sure about um, so I'm just glancing through here um, I mean you guys can probably download this or if, if you uh, already bought the machine and are looking to put it together by watching this video um, you've already got the manual so uh, there it is uh, I don't know it doesn't really say what those pieces are for um, or where they go exactly so that's one thing I guess I would change in the manual unless I'm just skipping over something too much but it does say assembling connections um, I mean there's a whole page here but I don't see where this goes obviously it probably clips in over here um, so we'll put that on there and I'll go ahead and build this all up and we'll fast forward through this part I found out uh, where they are it's pretty common sense um, exactly what I thought you know this is gonna clip in right here um, just like that and this is your power cord adapter thingy so you can wrap it around there so um, go that and then you've got your three uh, attachments that will clip right onto here that there that one there and uh, put the brush right there and they'll all clip on they're not going to fall off so that's nice um, we'll go back to the actual lance and gun you have this plastic one which this is pretty solid um, way nicer and heavier than most of the lances you're going to see that are plastic anyways screws right into there um, you can use that one or you can go ahead and attach the nicer one here um, so that's going to go on just like this, thread right on there. Make sure it's nice and tight on there, and then this little piece kind of covers that up. So you got that. Um, so for this one, you're not going to use that. That's going to slide into one of these slots, I'm guessing. Um, sounds about right. Actually, your gun's probably going to hang out into one of those. Um, how about that? Or no. Actually, this lance is going to go there. So, that'll hold that one, that'll hold that one, that one. And, uh, looks like you kind of disassemble it all as uh, you go, but that seems uh, sturdy enough for me. So um, I also didn't mention that uh, it does come with some washers and some adjuster tools like that if you need to use them. Um, and then this is on an actual base that this can open up and you can actually pull this handle up kind of like a suitcase thing and take it out of this base completely just like that so we can put that down and then right here is where your wheels go so we'll put these wheels on they should just pop right in there for us looks like these wheels have locks on them which is awesome so you can lock the position so this thing doesn't slide all around the place or you just want to roll it for a little bit and then lock it to where you're working 
Or you can just take the whole machine out of this base completely and don't have to use this base at all. Um, but it is nice to have this little storage area for it. This one's being tough. All right. So that's that. Uh, we'll put it on reverse here. I'll take this gun off just so we don't lose anything here and drop stuff. Uh, let's turn it around this time so you can see the back portion of everything. Um, there is these locks right here to lock stuff into place. Sorry, I'm using my uh, phone cord as a microphone because my other one is not working correctly right now, so this is kind of difficult. But Anyways, you've got your whole power cord here that will wrap around this whole area right here. So you can tidy it all up. And I would imagine once you take this protector off, you can just plug it right in there, which is really slick. So that'll all hold on right there. And then you've got an actual spin reel right here for your actual hose that plugs right into this area of the pressure washer gun. And you just click it in there till it doesn't move anymore. And then to disconnect it, you're gonna push this in and pull it out. So again, back to this, uh, you've got a quick disconnect here. You can pop out different nozzles. Um, so depend on the different angles you're using, um, you can just pop them in there like that. They lock right in and boom, you're ready to go. So you can put that one back there. And um, I think that's about it. I mean, I'll, you can move this up and down again for storage wise, which is really slick. Um, looks like something can store back here, which I'm guessing is going to be the, yeah. The surface cleaner will store right there. So um, all your accessories are gonna be able to fit on this actual machine. Um, unlike some of their other models, you didn't have that option, which was really annoying. Um, Cause you kind of had to just pick and choose accessories that you wanted to attach and that some could get lost cause they weren't fully attached. So this one, it's really cool. It's, it stores everything. Um, exactly how you'd want it. Um, it has a ton of power and uh, I think is a great deal at $2.99 on Amazon right now. So um, I'm not sure if that's a sale price or if that's their standard price. So uh, regardless, it, it is a, a great deal um, for what you're getting here. Um, you're not paying for a gas model, um, but you're almost getting all the features of a gas model plus you're getting all these accessories so whoa being that it's 30 um three or three thousand psi i mean that's more than enough to get everything done that you need around the house pretty much um unless you're doing some kind of uh crazy crazy cleaning that um, you can't get stains out. I mean, at that point, you might as well hire a professional to come out with something that's gonna be a bit more expensive than uh, this model. But overall, this is a great unit. Um, I like how it's on wheels and it holds all their accessories. So I'll put up the old Force 2000 model next to it so we can compare. All right, so here is the Force 2000 which is their old model right next to the new Platinum model. Um, as you can see, it's got similar features. Um, this reel's on the back or on the top versus on the back on that one. Um, I'm pretty sure I'm missing some accessories on this one that I've used with uh, their other models, but um, yeah, definitely put that one on there. Um, but I do like these a lot. so. Um, this is very top heavy as you can see just barely touching this thing it's gonna tip over this thing that's not going anywhere I mean being that it's on wheels too you can drag it around where you're working and you're not gonna have to worry about this tipping over this one you barely touch it it goes crumbling down to the floor so 
did not like that of this, but I did like the power that I got from it. And um, it is a little bit lighter, but again, it's top heavy, so it's gonna fall over. And the powerhouse, that's, that's the go-to model. It looks super cool and it's super powerful from the stats. I haven't personally tested it yet, but we'll get to that in the next video.